All right, just picked this up. It's a 91 Spectrum by Bluefin, 1706. I was told it was made in Australia by Game and Fish. I'll find out more about that. Um, it's got the 90 horse. Uh, it's got the oil oil injector or whatever feed to mix oil. Um, looks like it's had a leak here at one time. Um, pretty clean. I gave 750 for it. It's going to uh, need some wood. Somebody put a stupid, uh, looks like a minivan seat in there or something. But uh, it's got some soft spots you can see probably right there. Um, but right now I'm just going to take some of the stuff out of it and, and make more videos. As my, it's also got the trolling motor that goes up here. I don't know if that's original or not. I would have to look. I had this side off yesterday. Um, I wanted to do some stuff to this. So, all right. I'll probably pull that off. There we go. Better get some sun. All right, stay tuned. Okay, we're back to the spectrum again, and uh, what I've done is I uh, hook up a battery. I got it lowered down. I'm going to take off this cover, and we're going to fog the cylinders. Not with WD-40. I got some fog cylinder stuff. Um, we're going to take a look at the motor um, and see what's going on in there, and then you know prep it for starting. So you want to do this first. We want to fog those cylinders. Um, a day or two. I know it turns over. I turned it over by hand. I really shouldn't have, but um, we didn't want to break those rings or nothing. But we're gonna fog those cylinders, um, and then I'll be back. Okay, we got the cover off. Uh, we took the two covers off, and uh, took the back piece off here that goes here. There's a couple bolts that go in there, and uh, take that off so we can get access to our plugs. We're going to take those out. We're going to fog the cylinders. I'm going to take a look real quick because this is the first time I've seen inside this engine. And it doesn't look too bad. It's not all uh, terrible. I guess there at one time, there's probably this leaked here. And that's where all this came from is that leaked. And uh, that's pretty important not to have that leaking. So they sometimes leak and sometimes don't. Looks pretty good. Got a little bit of oil still in it. So that tells me he didn't run it out of oil. But it doesn't mean that the mechanical oil stopped working. I believe it's this piece here. I'm not for sure. I to, I, it's one of these pieces that make the automatic oil. So I'll have to look. I don't know too much about this. But it's a learning process as you go. So let me get these pull, plugs pulled out and... Uh, uh, get it fogged up. Okay, we got all the spark plugs out. Um, they got a little bit of moisture on them, but I surely it, it's not uh, gas or nothing. Um, it's probably water, moisture from the air. But you just stick it in there and just just a little fill those cylinders up a little bit. And then we're going to let it sit. We're going to put the spark plugs back in it. But get my can that fell down here. Make sure there ain't got no dirt on it. And we just want to put a little bit on areas that are linkages and stuff like that. So just a little tad bit. And then I'll come back with some lithium grease on the ones that are like, like here and stuff like that. All right, there you go. Okay, we're back here with Spectrum. And what did I do? Oh yeah, fog the cylinders and uh, WD-40 the linkages. Uh, it was dripping gas because we just put gas in it and it runs. Fired right up, fired right up. So I shut it down because we don't want to do anything without a water. But we know we got fire and uh, we're good to go, so we're going to do some more work on this. Uh, 
probably put a water pillar in it. Um, I gotta get some tires and get dragged home so we can start doing the wood project. But now we know that it's worth fixing. So we got our $700, $750 investment just in the motor alone. And we should be able to get that out of this 90 horse Mercury. Um, then scrap, aluminum, whatever. But uh, didn't have to go that route in parts or anything. So um, we're going to fix this baby up. Um, it's going to be uh, lake ready this year. Um, I'll probably redo the floor next year. I'll probably put something over it temporarily. Um, get that stupid seat out and some other stuff. But we'll do some work on it. And we know that it's worth it now. Good deal. All right, we're back with the Spectrum boat I bought by Bluefin. The 1706 got the 90 horse Mercury on it. Um, we're going to change the water pump, taking off the bolts, the four bolts, and plus the one that's right in here. And uh, we're going to get this second apart. I got a new water pump to put on it. So I can't wait to fire it up and force the work. Getting closer. Okay, we got it out. So uh, one thing to be aware of is that in here you got this little piece right there now that will slide off so if you like bump that and that falls off of the ground you don't notice it and it rolls somewhere and you put it back together so i just gotta slide in that perfectly so if you don't have that it's not gonna go in gear so just so you know um so we're gonna take this part I kind of turned it a little bit. It sounded pretty good, but we got this one here to throw in it. I picked this up today and uh, from the bus store, and I said, it's not the force. And he's like, okay, I'm going to go over it. And so hopefully that's the right one. Um, so we're going to take it apart and um, then put it back together. It looks okay. Um... <laughs> yep. There we go. All right. All right. We got the housing off. Um, looks like it's been ran a couple times. Got a little hot, but no biggie. All right. Looks all right, but you know, you should change these because uh, you see a little piece missing right there. See that little piece right there? So it's not going to have uh, a lot of pressure as a new one would. I'm not saying it wouldn't work, but you're gonna have not very good pressure. Uh, so we're gonna change that out, put a new one in. All right. All right, we got it fired up. Peeing real good. Yes, I was way too high. So, now we know that she's peeing. The water pump is good. I just put that in. So, um, and I put a filter on because they had this on there and it broke. And, and uh, I guess over time it broke. So, I put a new one on. But I just tied it with wire temporarily. I don't know if you see that. It's kind of crappy. But... Um, I just did it temporarily. So now I know it's peeing good. So I can do it upright. Go get some gas line. And, and then uh, figure out why this thing is idled up so high. Maybe it needs to warm up a little bit. But, alright. Alright. Uh, there's a motor hole here. Um, I got it idled to where I want it. Uh, I ran out of gas. 
Um, so, um, didn't get to finish idling it the way, but we're going to try that right there. But that's how you idle it. And you, you know, you want to make sure that that's moving properly. Good and lubed. There we go. There. Get a little tight. That should be good right there. It just ran out of gas. I think she's pretty much almost lake ready. So we got to do some more stuff and get her set up and everything like that. So a little bit more work to do. But now at least we know she runs good. And uh, I got to clean out its tank. Because I don't know if water's in there or not. So pull that gray hose off and see if I can't s siphon it out of there somehow with a pump or something. And then put some fresh gas in there. Alright, thanks for watching.